Consider an air glass interface. Do you recall the values for velocity of light in air and glass? Yes. For air, it is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second and for glass it is 2 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Now, let's take the ratio of these velocities. We get the ratio of velocities as 1.5. If you recall, 1.5 is the refractive index of glass with respect to air. So, from this, we can understand that the refractive index of the medium with respect to another medium can be found out by taking the ratio of velocities of light in those media. Now, let's generalize this concept. In this picture, you can see two media and their interface. Light rays are coming from medium 1 to medium 2. The speed of light in medium 1 is taken as V1 and that of the medium 2 is taken as V2. Here, the refractive index of medium 1 with respect to medium 2 is represented as N12. How can we calculate the value of N12? We have studied that the refractive index can be found out by taking the ratios of the velocities of light in those media. Here, in 1, 2, which is the refractive index of medium 1 with respect to medium 2 can be calculated by dividing the speed of light in medium 2 by the speed of light in medium 1. That is, in 1, 2 is equal to V2 divided by V1. I will tell you one short trick to memorize this equation. Whichever may be the medium whose refractive index is to be determined, the velocity of light in that medium will come in the denominator of the equation. That is, if M1 is the medium whose refractive index is to be determined, then V1 will be in the denominator. So, N12 is equal to V2 divided by V1. Now, what will be the refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1? It can be represented as N21. What is the formula for N21? As we have seen, the velocity of medium 2 should come in the denominator. That is, N21 is equal to V1 divided by V2. Let's take another example here. Consider glass as the first medium and the air as the second medium. We have to find out the refractive index of glass with respect to air. So, we know that the velocity of light in glass should come in the denominator. So, the refractive index of glass with respect to air can be written as the velocity of light in air divided by the velocity of light in glass. So, we understand that the refractive index is a relative quantity. We cannot determine the refractive index of one medium alone. For that, we have to take another such medium for a comparison. So, the refractive index of one medium with respect to another medium is called the relative refractive index. What happens if we consider vacuum as the medium for comparison? We know that light has the maximum velocity in vacuum. So, it is taken as a standard. The refractive index of a medium with respect to vacuum is called the absolute refractive index. This is the one we refer to as the refractive index normally and it is represented as Nm. On comparing two media, one medium with higher refractive index is called the denser medium and the one with lower refractive index is called the rarer medium. Here, we can take an approximation. We have seen that the velocity of light in air and vacuum are almost equal. So, the velocity of light in vacuum itself is considered as the velocity of light in air for the calculations. So, how can we rewrite the formula for absolute refractive index of a medium? 
the absolute refractive index of a medium is equal to velocity of light in air divided by velocity of light in the medium that is c divided by v here in this table you can see the refractive indices of different materials that we have discussed above here the refractive index of vacuum is 1 and the refractive index of air is 1.0003 for water it is 1.33 and for glass it is 1.5 so in this session we have studied what refractive index is and the relation of refractive index with the speed of light in a medium the learning app